Hello again, everyone. It's Todd Stavruch, the horror nerd here at New Jersey Horror Con and Film Festival at the Showboat in Atlantic City, New Jersey. It's the first night of the convention. Things are getting busy, rocking and rolling. And for my first interview of the evening, I have the absolute pleasure of standing here with Princess herself from The Walking Dead, Paola Lazaro. Paola, how are you? Um, I'm doing great, man. I'm having a blast. Yeah. This is, uh, first of all, I love casinos. Don't show this to my mom. Don't tell her I said that. Especially to my dad. Don't show them. But I'm having a great time. I love doing conventions and I love getting to meet everybody and it's always a blast. I always end up with no voice. So, is this the screen-worn uh, Okay, so... Coat? It's the same coat. This is just a clean one because I didn't want to bring zombie guts to you guys. I wanted to be presentable. Um, so this is <laughs> the coat, but a clean one. That is very cool. What's <laughs> weird is I have the same one. Oh, really? I just didn't wear it. How does time. it go when you wear it in the street? Oh, it goes over it, pretty it, well. It, yeah, they like it? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So, uh, Paula, tell me, what is it like being part of a show that has become such a part of our pop culture at this I, point. I mean, it, to me, it's an absolute pleasure and an honor to be part of this show. I have met so many beautiful people and made connections. And like seeing Ross here next to me, mm -hmm. who plays Aaron on the show, and we become very close friends. I mean, being part of a, something that has such legacy is, is a complete honor. And I, I just very overjoyed and thankful to be playing this part. Mm. I have a blast. Good. If you, if you can't tell, <laughs> I have a blast. Well, I can. I feel your energy right here, right now, and it's fantastic. I do. I do so. have a good energy sometimes. Now, were you aware? Uh, were you a fan of the comics before you? No, were I had never the read show? the comics, and I didn't know that it was Princess until later. And I was like, oh my god! And then I saw the drawings and the comic books, and I was like, oh my god, I get to do that. I was like crying, like I was so excited, and it just goes with me, the character, I think. We go I, with each other. I think so. it does seem that way. There's you know, a little I get bit that of a, vibe from There's you, some similarities, so. I must say. Just don't shoot me. I won't, All I right, won't. Thank just, you. I appreciate unless that. You're, unless you're a zombie. All right. So <laughs> maybe, maybe later after a night right. of gambling. Oh, yeah, what are you playing? I am a roulette and blackjack guy. I am a blackjack and electronic craps. I know, electronic, I know. Everybody's like, yeah, okay, whatever. In, interview cut, over. Cut, it's electronic cut. nonsense. No, we're done. Bleep. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> so, from what I have read online, the show now is officially wrapped. Yes, sir. Done. How yes, sir. emotional was that to oh, man. I, be done? I just remember driving to work that day and just, like, sobbing. Um, because it's been such a beautiful experience that has changed my life and enriched my life in so many ways. And again, I'm, I'm just so thankful for this experience. But uh, it's bittersweet. Like, we were all exhausted from 14 months of shooting, but it's also saying goodbye to everybody and saying goodbye to this character is like... But I can't say what happens in the end, so don't ask me. Oh, darn it. I was gonna and I don't you, know if Rick I, comes back. I was going to ask you to spoil the entire show. I know, right? Everybody right here. That, that would be amazing if I just did that <laughs> on, be, your, right? on your interview. <laughs> that would, I'd be like, and then what happens on episode 22 is oh wild. Cause then, okay. I, I can't think. believe Captain Kirk dies. That's yeah, right? Crazy. Captain Kirk dies. <laughs> episode 22. <laughs> Oh my God! Any so, do you have now any immediate plans for what you're gonna do next? Yeah, next week I start rehearsals for a play I wrote that I'm acting in, and it goes up in D.C. next month. And so I'm doing that for a month. If you all want to come see it, it's at the Woolly Mammoth Theater Company in D.C. And the play is called There's Always a Hudson. Please don't bring your kids. I repeat, uh -oh. do not bring anyone under the age of 18. Don't say I didn't let you know. <laughs> So, any can you give us some, any idea what it's about, or without it, spoiling? It takes place in one night where this Puerto Rican girl and this Haitian American dude decide to get revenge over the people who have effed them over. I like it. It's a fun little <laughs> butt, buddy tale. It's like two friends, <laughs> one night. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. So. Um, so one final question, and I love to ask this one, especially people who are out on big, you know, iconic shows. If you could give a piece of advice to any young, aspiring actors out there, what would it be? 
I would say be confident and be yourself. Don't don't try to be something you're not. What's worked for me ever since I started acting is just being myself. And nowadays people want to see themselves on screen and see people who look like them and who aren't trying to be something else. So it's I think it's so much about confidence and coming into an audition room and just being like, here I am. Let's do the scene. Cool. Awesome. And people are like, oh, oh. So it's... I think be confident and love yourself like that's the biggest one that's the biggest one that's fantastic so any final words for the uh, New Jersey Horicon fans out there um, <laughs> watch the Walking Dead <laughs> finale um, I think the last episode of this part of the season comes out Sunday and then the third part I don't know yet when it comes out but check it out you might see me in it Fantastic. <laughs> Paola, thank you so much for giving me a few minutes thank of you, your buddy. time. Thank I you. truly appreciate it. Of course, man. Anytime. I, again, in the end, I'm just a fan at heart. So it was a lot of fun to get to meet you and get to hang out for a while. Hell yeah. And, and then listen, I'll see you if, at the blackjack table. Yes. If you're hitting the tables later, you and will you'll, probably you'll will see me. You'll put the money up for me, right? Maybe. I could be yeah, convinced. Yeah, yeah, Just $15 table. Just put a couple of I'm, I'm in. Awesome. I'm totally in. <laughs> <laughs> Paola awesome. Lazaro, Princess from The Walking Dead, everybody here at New Jersey Horicon and Film Festival in Atlantic City. Stay tuned for the next interview, and we will see all of you next time. Bye, y'all.